Today is World Autism Awareness Day and April is Autism Awareness Month. A couple of good reasons to have our guests with us today to talk about autism spectrum disorders and how they could affect your family. Bob, uh, Bob, say your last name for me. I forgot to talk. <laughs> you did Folkson, but I mean, right, yes, Bob, Bob Glowacki. <laughs> so Bob is here. He is the CEO of Easter Seals, a leading provider of autism services nationwide. And Stephanie Folkson's son, Kyle, is a beneficiary of some of those services. So thank you both for being here today. Okay. Stephanie, let's start with you because uh, we call them autism spectrum disorders. Can you, okay. can you give us an idea of where folks just hear aut autism, but they don't know it's a number of different sort of things along what they call the spectrum. Absolutely, autism spectrums cover anywhere from severe autism, mm -hmm. classic autism. Um, there's pervasive develop developmental disorder, not otherwise specified, which is my son's diagnosis, mm -hmm. Asperger's, and there's a couple other um, different forms of autism in there as well that are not as common but are just as relevant. Well, I want to talk to you a little bit more about how Easter Seals has, has benefited your family but Bob let's get, let's get to some of this uh, research that has come mm -hmm. out or a new study that shows right. that autism diagnoses are way up. Do you guys see this as a matter of that just being uh, medical professionals are more aware of this, they're more able to diagnose it or are we seeing increased cases for real? I think the the run up now I think is more that we finally have people with early diagnosis. Kids are getting diagnosed with autism appropriately and we're they're getting the treatment they need as early as possible. I think earlier, uh, some of the other growth that we'd seen in the previous decade, it was a lot about f really identifying autism, and now I think the doctors and pediatricians are looking for it specifically, and I think we're more successful because of it. And you have a new screening tool that parents mm -hmm. can use, and this is something that you can do at home. Can you get into right. that a little bit? The Ages and Stages questionnaire is the gold standard of, of uh, early cognitive and motor development. Mm -hmm. So this is a tool that families can go online through our website and be able to track their child's early development from zero to age five every three months. Uh, you know, every woman gets what to expect when you're expecting. The same, if you're a grandma out there, if you're an aunt, you should be giving that same mom this uh, uh, link on our website so that they can go ahead and track their child's development. If anything's wrong, bring it to the attention of their pediatrician. You know, Stephanie, I watched a little bit of your story, that piece uh, on you and your son and your family, and it just looks like as soon as you started getting that intervention and professionals helping you, that it made a world of difference in oh, your house. Absolutely. Um, I always say when Kyle was first diagnosed, he was my living hurricane. Mm -hmm. he, everything was chaos nonstop. Um, he was very overactive. He started um, walking at, or crawling at four months, walking at eight months, running about oh a week later, and didn't <laughs> stop and hasn't stopped since. Um, we started early intervention services right after or right around his second birthday, and now he is mainstreamed in a regular second grade classroom. Um, he has a best friend. He He's able to sit and play with us and talk with us and he's on the track to a, a, a typical life, if you'll say. Wow. Well, thank you so much. We're, we're out of time. We could talk about this for a half hour. So thank you, <laughs> or, or an all day, really. <laughs> but thank you guys both for being here. And I'll send people to the website for more information and to the link for that screening tool as well. We've got a link set up on our page, todays tmj4.com.